Howdy folks, Tex Scrubner here with Tex Scrubner Outdoors. This video is probably going to be boring to some of you, but I need to make it. We as adult hunters sometimes forget where we came from. Sometimes we need a reality check. We have forgotten what it is like to be a young boy or girl walking into an archery shop or a pro shop chain store with a hundred and fifty maybe three hundred dollars in our wallet hoping that there is a bow in there that we can afford because we are hunters we are huntresses it is what our tribe has been doing time immemorial there has never been and will never be a god or goddess of golf there has always been, and will always be, no blasphemy intended, a god or goddess of the hunt. Because when you see an animal walk down a trail, and you get so excited, and you see that animal in all its beauty, its grace, its majesty, you think that you can hear his thoughts. You think that you can feel his heartbeat. And you draw that bow back and the arrow flies. Those are the things that when fire was king are what religions were inspired by. And that is what our tribe has been doing. And that is what our tribe will continue to do. When a boy or girl goes to the woods with their weapon, they enter it as a boy, but they leave it as a man, or they leave it in womanhood. And so this video is for all of you beginners, all of you new members of the lodge, you want to be a hunter you want to conquer nature prove that you are a man prove that you are a woman you want to feed your tribe well I have this to tell you I remember what that was like this bow is a Martin shadow cat it draws 55 to 70 pounds. This is a great bow for $150. In its time, it was one of the fastest bows on the market at 300 feet a second. Nowadays, that's not the fastest bow on the market by a long shot. But it will do whatever you need it to do. I bought this bow purely and simply to support my local archery shop and to make this video for the point that you don't have to have the new wow zippity zow fastest most adjustable this that or the other equipment this bow will kill deer you need to have quality equipment but within the past 15 years compound archery has come so far that there is no such thing as a bad or obsolete compound bow that's been made in the past 15 years no matter what the brand so you can find a compound bow for hundred and fifty dollars with that being said though in most cases for novice archers I honestly recommend something from the Martin Takedown line or a Samick Sage and so on traditional archery equipment because it is so much cheaper to get into traditional archery and technically in my opinion it's a more organic style of hunting now when success is all that matters you don't really have the luxury of worrying about what is organic. 
on this bow I have an S coil which is my stabilizer I use an old Allen Company release that I bought from Walmart years and years ago I have a Vital X Vision 5 5 pin archery sight it is probably the best archery sight on the market today it's not a cheap sight nor is my Casaway drop away arrow rest but the reason that this sight and this arrow rest are on this bow is because if you buy your supplemental gear right the first time when you have the money to upgrade the main part of the equipment which is the bow you're not gonna have to worry about buying a new sight or buying a new rest because your rest and sight were the top of the line at that time now in regard to arrows at the top of the screen you can see a pile driver 250 feather fletched and with a 200 grain werewolf broadhead full length 30 inches it weighs in at 500 grains to 550 grains depending on how you fletch it and your insert weight but pile driver 250s are generally affordable arrows the 200 grain werewolf broadhead gives you a 19 percent weight forward of center ratio and you get your 10 grains per pound of draw weight if you're shooting a 50 to 55 pound bow which is what most male hunters will start at and then you can crank it up slowly as you get stronger into its 70 pound range the reason that I recommend the werewolf broadhead is because they are a heavy broadhead they are a single beveled broadhead which means they will break bone rather than simply sticking into the bone and they are sold in a six pack as well as being hundred percent made in America even though most of our carbon arrow shafts of today are not made in America including the pile drivers but at the bottom of the screen here you see a 300 grain field point on a .300 full metal jacket by Easton and they are also feather fletched and these arrows weigh in at 710 grains this bow at its exact maximum poundage is 71 pounds young hunters young huntresses take heed of my words you have an ethical responsibility to use the deadliest equipment that you can avoid mechanical broadheads the 200 to 300 grain werewolf will take care of you just fine with all of this being said as a boy or as a girl when you go to the woods with your bow be it to conquer nature or to feed your tribe when you leave those woods you will have entered manhood you will have entered womanhood because you are a hunter you are a huntress and that is what our tribe has been doing time immemorial and these are the things that could make you believe in a god generally just as I said I recommend that a young hunter begin with traditional archery equipment simply because when you have adversity you have a chance to develop character with all of that being said though if you have the money to get the top of the line gear by all means do so but I remember what it is like to want to be a hunter 
For you new members of the Lodge, I wish you well. And know that it is attainable. And so I say, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over at LegallyConcealed.org. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you serving in the military. And thanks for watching Tech Grebner Outdoors.